Okay, we solder the fuse. Now let's see. Uh, let me bring the software back. So I think I burn it. I mean, how I can be so unlucky? I mean, I use it so many times. And now doing a video, and all what I did, I resoldered that fuse, which, which has nothing to do with the USB. I can't believe I'm so unlucky. So let's let the battery on one side, and let's try to fix this thingy. I mean, it has power. But for some reason, it's not detected by the computer. Manufacturing in Romania. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> no, obviously, it was my fault. Well, let's open and fix it. Was my fault. I should disconnect the battery from the device when I soldered that fuse inside of the battery. The battery looks like it's working because I have the power output. But the device not. The device just died. I tried the device on a different laptop, yeah, with a different cable, still not is not detected by the computer. So I believe we killed it. I was always curious to be to see what it's inside. <laughs> Let's see. So we have no communication on the USB, right? Oh, that's nice, but that's not helpful. We have to open this and uh, see exactly what's going on. Oh, this has some nice electronics here. Huh? So where do you think is the problem on this board? So the board is not speaking with my computer. Lol, something is hot here. Okay, let's plug the charger. Let's plug the USB cable. And no, still nothing on the computer. And this ship is getting mad hot. No? No, this one. So this ship is getting hot. LOL. It's supposed to get hot? Huh? <sighs> Why me? So that chip is 317. I think that's a regulator, right? So let's see what we have. We have the connector from the battery, yeah? and this has some uh, dials for protection. I don't believe here something happened. And we have this. This is a power supply, clearly. 
this 317 it's LM317 right and this is a power supply so the chip which is speaking on the USB is this one yeah so let's have a look here and see see what's going on let me grab the multimeter I mean, you know, it's it's just strange. Okay, let's see. So on the USB communication pins, there are 5 volts and... So we have 5 volts here. There's 0 0.6 here. 0 0.6 here. Okay. Then it's coming to a small chip. And then to the chip. Okay, I can't see anything here wrong. Let's see the power supply of this one. So this must be some uh, 0, 07 and 0. Okay, what about on this capacitor? Oh, that's a crystal there. So basically we don't have power on this thingy, right? We don't have power on this ship. For some reason I mean I did check the capacitor does the all what we have like 0, 07 here we have 5 volts wow we have 5 volts okay let's see this chip so the input of this chip is 19 volts and the output is 2.3 okay I don't think this is right and here is 3.6 And this ship, 0 0.2, I don't know what this ship is doing. <sighs> what do we have here? 2.5, here 3.6, so we do have 3.6 on this ship. So what's wrong then? This is not getting hot anymore. What chip is this? PL2303. Okay, that should be easy to be found on uh, PL. Yeah. 2303. 2303TA. Found it. Found it. Let's see. Let's see if we can fix it. Obviously, it's our fault. So, what is this? It's working with five volts. Okay. Okay. Oh, give me the pins. So this ship is responsible for speaking with the computer, right? So what do we have here? VDD5, yeah, that's power, and pin number 20. Yeah, it's about there. Wait, it's not there. One second, it's not there. It's pin number uh, 20, yeah? P number 20 and here P number 20 is this one 
yeah, this one and here we have zero volts So here we have zero volts but I do have some voltage here five volts P number 20 one second 15 16 17 18 90 20 oh, okay it is five volts then we have what VO what is this VO? VO33. Okay, P number 17. P number 17. Is this one, which is going here and you have nothing. Come on, it's no voltage here. And it's supposed to be. So how did we burn this? I don't understand. This must be some protection, right? this kind of chip UL25 what is this <sighs> okay you know what I will do I will replay I will take out that thingy and I will connect straight to the chip So this is the USB, yeah? So the USB can be connected straight to the chip. Uh, because I don't understand, yeah? What I don't understand is... What I don't understand is... Here I do have... I have nothing here. What? And nothing here. Nothing. And nothing. From the USB. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not with ground. Yeah, I'm with ground. So why is it not working? Unplug, plug back. We have zero six, and here, here we have zero. Here we have zero, and here we have zero. Now you know what? I don't trust this. Nah, no, let's take it out. No, no, I'm okay. Let's take it out. Why do I have five volts from the one second? Let me check something. What about without the USB cable? Do we have five volts? Without the USB, we have five volts. Okay.
I don't trust this. I don't trust him because I don't know what it is. Let me solder this thingy here. Just so don't lose it. Okay, that's good. Now let's come with a proper calibrated fuse. There. Now uh, you know what? We don't need a proper calibrated fuse. We can use a proper calibrated solder wire. Which it will do same job. This is a proper calibrated solder wire. Good. Now that's a fuse. Good, so now if we are plugging back the power, let's see, is beats working? No, it's not working. I can't hear any ESB detection. Uh, zero six, and here we have zero six. So we have both pins, we have zero six. Why the freak is not working? Okay, you know what? Let's go with five volts. Let's see what's happening. Four point seven is fine. So let's go with voltage there. Here. Lol. Why is that? Why is it taking so much current? Four hundred milliamps. One point six volts. Wow. Where is it? Yeah. Why? Oh. I burn it. That's what happened. Okay, so here is supposed to be five volts. And the chip is getting burned. Uh, it's getting hot. Sorry, I can't see here. This one. The PL thingy. I burned the chip. And you know how, how do I think this chip got burned? Probably because of the potential difference between the solder iron and the computer. Because obviously here the ground is from the computer. Yeah. And the solder iron. You have a different ground. No, 100% has a different ground. I think I'm on that age, I start burning things. I'm, I'm, I'm not fixing anymore, huh? I'm burning things. Oh, that's sick. Okay. So I need that chip. 
I can get that chip. I'm, I'm just curious. It's only that chip is the problem. So I'm going to get that chip. Yeah. And then I will continue this this funny video with me burning things. Okay, so let me grab the chip and uh, see you soon. Okay, so we have the chip. Let's replace this chip. Let's replace it. Let me use some uh, Rosin Flux. Good hot air. Four twenty should be fine, right? So the chip is out. Let's come with a new chip, which is actually second hand. You know, the only problem is here is tweezer, that this tweezer is not big enough. Okay, let's show it one more time. Uh, come on, just sit on your place. Yeah, like that. Right? It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. My proper calibrated uh, fuse gone. Proper calibrated... Uh, Solder wire. I should try first with that chip, yeah, definitely, yeah. Clear. We like simple things, like, no? Right? We like danger. Okay, that one was, was not good. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I like to do bridges with uh, with the solder wire. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Now let's see if we are plugging the computer cable, it will work or not. That's the question. <laughs> what do you think? It's still hot. So the computer cable is here. Let's see. 
working. Did you hear the? You, no, you can't hear the sound. Sorry, one second. Yeah, one more time. Let me unplug it. Plug it back. Working. So if you have this problem, yeah, if you have this problem, all you have to do is to replace that PL chip. Ha <laughs> ha. Now let's see. Let's see the live test. What is important? Ah, by the way, yeah. Let's see what voltage is supposed to be there. Where, uh, where actually was taking like 400 milliamps. So here, yeah, right? Uh, here. Ah, should be 3.2. And we have zero. You remember we have zero volts. Yeah. Now let's see if it's working. Let's see. Only does the problem. So what I will do, what I will do, yes, and you can see it's appearing here, connect, connecting, no, why not? Lol. Make something else here, faulty. Connect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's let's um Let's put back that thing here. Yeah? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Just because we don't know what what is doing, that doesn't mean it's not doing anything. I mean, let's take out our uh, proper calibrated solder and put back that chip. Oh wait, I haven't plugged the cable. Come on, I I didn't plug the the cable. The 19 volts cable. Nah, you know what? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure our calibrated solder is good. No, 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 no. Let's let's make it back. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah, so our proper calibrated solder is back. Now let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. Windows capture. Okay. Now we'll plug the. I will plug this. Yeah, and this. Uh, let's press connect. Oh, new update. Lol, you can't see. What's this? Why ask me for update? So the guy just did an update now. New update. So we should update it. Yeah, why not? Ah, uh, okay. Don't worry then. Connect. It doesn't let me. Okay, let's close this. Run as administrator. Connect. Update. Okay. And let's see now. It's working. I told you. I told you my proper calibrated uh, solder is good. <laughs> okay, let's connect to the to the battery. Okay, let's connect to the battery. 
So what we have to do is to plug this thing here. Yeah, this one. And now let's press start reading. Ah, no, here, sorry, yeah. And it's not working because one wire jump out from the battery. It's working. So you see the battery is unlocked. I, I mean, this video will be a different video from the one with, uh, with that battery we repairing the fuse, yeah? So uh, what happened, it, you know, if you seen that video, if you didn't see it anyway, I soldered that fuse and instantly the device got disconnected from the from the computer and and probably I will cut that I will cut that and now I will uh, continue the video with this repair device. Yeah. So we made that fuse. I mean, I can show you one second. Yeah, we soldered the fuse here, and the moment I touch with the solder iron there and I solder that fuse. Uh, the device died. Uh, not the device, the, that interface, PL interface. So to, in order to test if the battery is working, we can straight go to charge, start charging. And the battery is charging. Look, look at the curve, it's going up. Look at the current. Yeah, look at the current down. The current is going up. So the battery is charging fine. Okay, and the current has to go up to 3 amps, like how I set up here, but it's going up slowly because the battery is very discharged. And if I uh, stop charging, and you can see here, uh, we can see the, the current and the voltage is not with zero, yeah, so the battery is repaired. But the fun part here, not the fun, the, the good part here, yeah, you can have a locked battery. All the problem can be the fuse. I mean, you do the fuse and the battery to start working again. Okay. Wow. I can't believe this happened to me. You have to understand, yeah. You have to, there is no connection, yeah. It's no connection at all, apart from the ground connection from here to the actually the USB our USB is no connection at all so you can get those wires yeah don't get me wrong you can get those wires and you can short them on all ways possible doesn't matter yeah doesn't matter because you have here on the data and clock input you have protection you have dials you have resistors you cannot burn it and then on the plus and minus you have this part from here you know it's have nothing to do with actually the USB chip. Why the chip got burned, I told you. It's about the ground potential, yeah? So you have uh, this ground, which is, this is the ground from the computer. And the ground from the computer is going to the, is going to the mains, yeah? Because this, this is not a transformer. It's, it's a switching power supply. And on the switching power supply, you have a connection from the this part, from the this ground to the uh, neutral. You have a connection with a capacitor. We a capacitor which can get charged, and you can burn things. And then I come with the with the solder, with the solder iron, and probably was a potential difference which burned this chip. Because otherwise, it's no explanation, yeah. And also, what I solder here, I solder the the bridge on the on the on the on the voltage, yeah. That was fourteen volts. You remember it test, which have nothing to do with the data pins, with the data lines. Which probably the data lines is not coming straight to this chip. Probably it's coming to this chip, which is doing something else, and from this chip probably is coming here. Who knows? Okay, doesn't matter. The idea is how you can fix it in case you burn it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the idea. Just be sure you have that chip. I'm pretty sure you can find that chip. Let me check eBay. Let me check eBay. Just give me one second. eBay. 
PL PL two three two three zero three. Lol, you can buy a, 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 a entire device with like three pounds. But what about the chip itself? Uh, let me type chip PL two three zero three TA IC IC or chip, whatever. Oh, wait, you cannot buy. No, you cannot buy it from here. Only from China, three pounds. No, one pound twenty for two pigs. So uh, one pound nineteen for two of this. Oh, this is expensive. You can buy, it, but not from UK. Only from China. Four pound from China. Oh, five for five pigs. You can uh, pay four plus two postage. Yeah, it's a cheap, uh, cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> but yes i'm just unlucky i swear i'm just unlucky because it's no connection from what i did with what actually happened on this uh, on this device okay so we'll stop now thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video like always and see you on the next one bye